we want to have a look at what background information we need to know about before we can begin um, learning about this particular topic. So the key ideas we want to cover in this video are what is a population versus what is a sample. We want to look at some different data collection methods, so how we go about collecting the data. Then we can look at what types of data we collect and also what is a variable. So let's start with looking at what a population is and what a sample is. So if we think about the world, we can talk about the population of the world or the population of any country. So a population is defined as the target group that we're interested in. Okay, so it could be that I'm interested in all teenagers that sit NCA level one in New Zealand. That would be my target population. It could be that my target population was all people who like Xbox games. So you, so whoever is um, collecting the data defines first of all what their population is. And so from within that population, we then go and take a sample. And so we collect a smaller group of people from within us and we ask some people, can you answer some questions for us? Can you tell us some information about yourself? And that's the sample that we go on and analyze. If we're talking about a census, a census is um, much more like the population. And this is the census is run by the New Zealand government or the different governments in each country. And they go and take, get every single person in the country to fill in a form with a bunch of questions on so that they can go and find out more about it. So in New Zealand that would be collecting data from every single person that lives in New Zealand at a particular moment in time. And that happens every four years. And it costs two or three hundred million dollars every time it does it. And it takes a long time, it takes about 12 months to collect all the data and process it. So once we've got some data, or once we've decided what, who our target population is, we want to think, how am I going to collect that data? So I could do it just by observing. So like your teachers might do, they'll sit and observe what you do when you're in the classroom. Okay, so they'll just make notes, oh, this person's working, this person's not working, oh, that person's doing their experiment, whatever it is that they're observing they will note that and we record those observations down. Another form is the interview. So during an interview we could sit down and talk with the person and ask them information. And this is particularly good if you want to collect sensitive information. Um, so for example you want to find out about um, child abuse or you want to find out about alcohol or other issues which there can be quite a bit of sensitivity around. The standard form that we see a lot of is our questionnaire and so that's when somebody's got a form and they ask you a bunch of questions and it could be a paper form that they ask you, could be that online survey, you know how when you log onto a website and it pops up with a little window that says, you know, have you got five minutes to do my survey? So it can be in all sorts of different formats. And there's also some databases. So for example, the New, Ze um, New Zealand electoral roll, that is a database of people um, and where they live so that people can access that information because they, that needs to be publicly available um, so that people who are interested in politics and anything like that can collect that information from those people or send information to them. So then we get to our different types of data. So the first type of data is what we call qualitative, so qualitative. And that is any words, so it could be talking about a sentence, it could be talking about a group, gender, eye colour, ethnicity, those are all groups. So anything that's word based is qualitative, so it's descriptive information. The data could be quantitative, and so quantitative, like quantity, just means it's numbers. Okay, And there's two types of numbers that we can have, we could have discrete numbers, which if we look at this graph at the top there, um, you can see that they're the whole numbers, okay? So you're counting the number of objects. And they can't be any of the values in between. The other type that they could be is a continuous, and that's when it could be any value in between. So this is when I measure. So if I'm measuring somebody's height or weight, I could measure my child's height to be 23.4 kilograms. So I can have those decimal and fractional values. So these are different types of data. Then we've got variable and data itself. So data is what we collect. The variable is like saying this is the container 
that we're putting the data into and we're going to give that container a name or if we do something as a like you've got here on your screen if we do something like a table then the variable is the label description word saying what this information is about so for example under characters the character is the variable the data would be the names of the character like Alice and Ariel and um, Aurora and Belle and so on we've got another variable there film so what film they're from what hair color hairstyle eye color skin color those are all different variables whereas the data is actually the values themselves okay what each person tells us or the information we get from every person or every object and this all leads to the PPDAC cycle and this is what you're going to be doing for your assessment is you're going to carry out this PPDAC cycle so we start with looking at what a problem is we define what the investigation question is we then go and look at the plan and think right what variables are we going to use how we're going to get what data are we going to use we're going to check that data make sure it's clean and tidy ready to use we're going to do an analysis of that data and this is where we draw graphs of it we look at some summary information and we connect that back to the problem that we were trying to find and lastly we get to our conclusion which needs to answer that investigation question um, and summarize what it is that we have found so there is the background information that you need for this topic